Today we're demonstrating an end of drying process used to remove the solvent hepatane from a cannabis isolate. Here we have a Cascade Sciences vacuum oven, the Agilent IDP-10, which is the pump we're using to pull a vacuum on the system, our snap vacuum controller, which uses a proportional valve to restrict or increase the orifice size to allow the pump to pull either less or more vacuum on the system. Here we have our fiber gauge, currently displaying two sensors, one convection enhanced Pirani sensor and a new quantum isolated sensor offered exclusively by Digivac. Sensors connected to the Fira stay right on this port and read the vacuum inside the oven. The end of drying process requires the removal of all water and solvent from the cannabis isolate inside the oven. We do that by applying heat and vacuum to the system, but outgassing materials are always a concern. An easy way to tell if there's still excess moisture in your vacuum oven is to see what the two sensors connected to the Fira are doing. When they're reading very far apart, there's more moisture in your vacuum system. You can see here the numbers are relatively close, so the system is dry. Inside the oven right now, we have a dry rag just used to simulate the isolate. We'll come back in a minute, soaking that rag in isopropyl alcohol, put it back in the oven, and pull a vacuum again in order to display the effects of outgassing material on vacuum oven. Now we're going to soak this rag with isopropyl alcohol in order to approximate the hepatane removed from the isolate. Now that the rag is wet, it'll go back in the oven so we can show the effects of too much moisture in the oven. vacuum level as we could in a clean, dry system. This is illustrated also by the pressure differential in our fiber sensors. They're diverging a lot so we know that the system is wet. Now we'll close the system and watch the pressure inside rise rapidly as a result of the outgassing material. 